teammates of the Connecticut cornerback nicknamed Jazz are still stunned that he's gone forever. It's, it's tough. It's tough seeing this stuff just sitting there and not being used. Players have turned Jasper Howard's locker into a memorial. You look at it. You say your prayers. I'm never going to forget. I'm never going to forget Jasper's laugh, his face, and how, 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 how he was so young to be taken away from us. The makeshift memorial will remain in place until 2011, the year that Howard was to graduate from UConn. And the coach says nobody will wear Howard's number six jersey until after he would have graduated next season. Also, UConn will wear a sticker with Howard's initial on its helmets for the rest of the season and will carry his helmet or jersey to away games. Police say Howard was fatally stabbed early Sunday morning during a fight outside a university-sanctioned dance. Two teammates tried in vain to help him, but there was nothing anyone could do. So far, nobody has been charged with the stabbing. Meantime, members of Howard's family, who traveled from Miami to take his body back home for burial, expressed their gratitude for the outpouring of love and support the family has received from the Connecticut community. When he came here, he fell in love with this place. And it makes me feel good and it makes his mother feel good to see the love that came from this place. Howard's stepfather says police have told him they will solve the case and he says he believes them. We have a lot of pain. We still have hurt. But we can go home now feeling a little better because a lot of our questions have been answered. Funeral services are tentatively set for Monday in Florida. The team will attend. Myra Lopez, The Associated Press.